I'm going to show you how to create house banks and account ID in SAP s system. This video is a sequence of the videos that we are doing here in this channel to create the bank accounts. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you can find in the description of this one. My name is Nundias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are now just switching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. My dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help this channel to reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 6,000 views and less than 400 subscribers. Could you please help us to balance this scale by subscribing to this channel? Here in this channel, we deliver very high quality content and I use my free time to share SAP knowledge for free. Therefore, I think it's fair enough also to ask you to share SAP knowledge. How can you do that? It's very simple. You just need to subscribe to this channel, share it within your network, and it is done. Let's reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. In this video, we are going to create the house banks and the account IDs. And now, without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP Women group. So I'm going to use the transaction code to make all the steps in one go. But in previous version, you needed to go for this transaction, FI01, to create the uh, bank key. And then you needed to go to the FI12H underscore H bank to finalize the configuration. Okay. So, but for us, we are going to use the, the transaction code FBZ. That's our transaction code. We are going to come back to this transaction code very often, but we are going to start by the house bank. So we are going to create the bank for our company code. So what I'm going to do is to click S for under my company code, and then I'm going to double click it in house banks. So house banks are the banks of the country. For instance, you have the banks of the country. And you might have all the banks in your company code, or you have one or two banks. And then inside of the bank, uh, like, for example, the Credit Suisse, inside of the Credit Suisse, you have several bank accounts that you can uh, create for your company code. First, we are going to start to create like the level, the upper level, which is the Credit Suisse, for example, for Switzerland. So I'm going to start by creating a new entries. And then here in the house bank, I'm going to choose the entry number 14, for example. This is uh, as you wish. Then I'm going to put, I'm doing the Brazil. And then here I created something, just having the zero that to show that the length for this bank as defined as eight uh, chart. So I'm going to remove two, I'm going to put three, and then we are good to uh, create. Click here in the button, create. So here I'm going to call it um, Bank of YouTube. It's the, the minimum that I need to, to do it and I'm going to click OK. So you can put the city, region, branch of the bank if you wish, but for us, we are going just to do this example. So now I'm going to save. So this is saved. Now I'm going to get back. And then I have already here the bank of YouTube that we are doing here in this channel. So I'm going now to select this. And now we are going to create the account IDs. I'm going to double click. So I wanted to show you something here. If you see, this is the transaction FI12, as I explained in the beginning of the video. So if via the FBZP, we jump for the FI12. Now I'm going to click, double click here, read access only. So in this version, we cannot do anything here in S4N, 
but I'm going to show you that we cannot create the uh, account IDs. But in the version that I'm using, we have a create bank account. So I'm going to click here and this is going to launch me for the URL. Okay, now we are we have the URL. We are going to create the account IDs. Opening date. I'm going to choose, make some changes, 24. First, now we are going to insert the company code. We are going to search our company code. That's the one. Company code is there, is already updated, this information. Bank account region, uh, we are going to choose Brazil. And then here, the bank key is the one that we created in the previous scenario. We are going to type uh, um, YouTube just to see if we find something. Yes, bank of YouTube. I think it was this one that we created, bank of YouTube. Okay, Bank of YouTube is there, currency BRL, and now the account number. So now here in the account number, you cannot repeat this account. This is a new, new even, even though you have several company codes, you need to have only one account. So let's have a look what we have here, and um, you can pick up on this number and then add some more digits for the account number. Bank account control, sometimes you have in the end two digits or you can or a space and a digit or you can put it here the same thing, the account control. So we are not going to use for our, our information. So account type, we have to choose checking account and then from here, nothing else, bank statement, we are not going to payment data, we are not going to do anything here now, and then we are going for house bank account connectivity. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to add. So by default, it brings all this information. Now I need to create here an house bank account ID that can be used already in the system. So I'm going to use bb 2 so I have my, now we need to choose the GL account to make the magic for the posting. Uh, I'm going to press go. And then we are going to change a main account, okay? Bank main accounts. We have some warning uh, messages, but so far so good. Here we could have some other information for other business processes that we have in the system, but we are not going to explore this in this video. Now we need to um, see here the additional data. We can use as this as a business area work. We can also add a business area to our bank. I'm not going to do it, but we could be uh, putting the business area. Now we are going to save and probably having an error message as normally I have, and then I'm going to see, and, and, and then I'm going to see with you how we are going to resolve it. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please don't forget to make a like to us. So now general data, now we are going to save. So we see the description is not maintained. So we, I click here. As you can see here in the first screen, the account description is not with a start, but is mandatory. So we are going to uh, choose a bank YouTube. Okay, the account description. Now I said I'm going to click enter and then I'm going to save. First part is done. Now we are going to explore again uh, this in the FBZP, how this looks like. Going back to the system, if I select here uh, my bank account, uh, go back and go back. And I need to go again to house banks. Now we are going to see what we have just done in the system. S400. My company code, house banks, 
So I have this one, Bank of YouTube, the one that now we are going to see bank accounts. And this is what we have just done in the browser. So we have our bank accounts, what we have done in the YouTube, what we have done in the browser, it's here. If this video was useful for you, please make some comments. Now you know how to create house banks and accounts ID in SAP s system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.